Hello everyone and welcome to this new video on Google Colab. I'm Dr. Ryan from Stemplicity. At Stemplicity, we offer premium content on science, technology, engineering, and math. We even teach artificial intelligence and personal finance in a simple, easy, and fun way. We will be releasing new weekly YouTube videos, so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. I have some great news for you. Google has released Google Colab, which is a free Jupyter Notebook environment that runs in the cloud, and luckily, it does not require any setup. This is pretty incredible, because now you don't have to worry about installing packages and libraries and spend endless hours on Stack Overflow to solve issues. With Google Colab, you can write and execute Python code directly from the browser. You can build powerful models and save and share your results. Google Colab can enable us to train the model using regular CPUs, GPUs, and even TPUs. TPUs stands for Tensor Processing Units. TPUs are AI Accelerator Application Specific Integrated Circuit, or ASIC. TPUs can dramatically enhance network training and computational efficiency. Let me show you how it works. So when you launch Google Colab, it works pretty much the same as Jupyter Notebook, which is, again, very easy to work with, and you can directly write Python code in there. So let's take a look at how can we add two variables, for example. So again, in Python, it's very, very straightforward. You can write x equals to 4, for example. If you run the cell, you can just come here, run it, run the cell. okay, And then you can even, uh, other than that, you can press Shift-Enter to run your cell. So Shift-Enter should run it. And then afterwards, you can just specify the variable y. So I said y equals to 5. And then I want to add two variables. So I'm going to say z equals to x plus y. Again, very easy, very simple. And if I want to print that variable, I'm going to print z, so print x plus y. That's all what it is. Very, very easy, very straightforward. If you want to add an additional code cell, you can just come here. You find that you can add a code cell or add a text. So maybe let's go ahead and add a text. So I'm add a text. I'm going to say I need to, let's say, multiply two variables. Again, shift enter, and here we go. So now we added basically a markdown cell. And if you guys want to take a look at the table of content, you can go here. You'll find that if you wanted to add two variables, that's here. Multiply two variable, that's here. And then you can add, again, multiple code cells. And let's go ahead and maybe multiply two variables. So I'm going to say, let's say, um, c equals 2, x times y. Shift Enter. Looks great. And let's go ahead and actually print c. Shift Enter. Here we go. So now we multiply basically 4 times 5. So the answer was 20. Again, pretty easy, pretty straightforward, very, very, um, very easy. So that's how you basically run your uh, um, Google Colab. It's very similar to Jupyter Notebooks. And as you guys can see here, you can take a look at the Google table of contents. And you can run all that in the cloud. And that's the beauty of it. That's kind of, you know, pretty, pretty amazing. And if you guys take a look here, if you go to your runtime, you can go ahead and change what we call it the runtime type, which is pretty fascinating. You can actually pick up your language, either Python 3 or Python 2. And you can pick as well your hardware accelerator. So you can pick either a regular, regular CPU or a GPU or even a TPU, which is what we call a tensor processing units. These are ASICs, okay, or, um, or just a dedicated chip that can be used to run AI and machine learning models, which is very, very powerful, extremely, it's just amazing that you would have access to all that hardware just remotely sitting, you know, I don't know, in a, in a beach in Mexico, for example. All right, so as you guys can see here, you can, that's, that's kind of a quick overview of the Google Colab. If you wanted to restart, for example, the runtime, you can come here, say reset all runtimes, I'm gonna say yes. And then if you wanted to clear your output, you can come to edit, here, clear all outputs, that should clear all outputs. And if you want to run it all, you can come here and say, okay, you know what, run it all. And then with that, we're going to run the entire cells, as you guys can see here. All right. And that's all what I have for, for it. Again, there are tons of features in here. Here, I just want to give you just a glimpse of how can you use Google Colab. And what you could do as well, just one last point, is that you can actually save as well the files if you wanted to. So you can go here, save it. You can save it to the drive. So you can save a copy on your Google Drive. And you can even save it on GitHub too. And you can also, if you wanted to, you can export it or download it as kind of a Jupyter Notebook with the exact same extension as Jupyter Notebook, which is again, pretty, pretty incredible. That's all what I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe for more videos. Enjoy AI and coding and happy learning.